Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the replace words problem from Lead Code and the number for this is 648. So in this given problem, we are told about the root and the derivative concept of the English uh, of the words. So in English we have a concept called root uh, and which can be followed by adding some more characters to the root and uh, creating a longer word that will, that will be the derivative. For example, we have a uh, word help. So, in the word help, we can add more uh, characters like full, f-u-l, such that it becomes helpful. So, in this case, help is actually the root and helpful is the derivative of root. So, the derivative will arise from the root by adding some or more characters. So, let's see what we have in the problem. So, given a dictionary consistent, consisting of many roots and a sentence consisting of words separated by spaces. So we have a dictionary of many roots or words and we have a sentence of word uh, which is normally separated by spaces. So what we have to do is that replace all the derivatives in the sentences with the root. So suppose we have an example one dictionary equal to cat, bat and rat and the sentence is the cattle was rattled by the battery. So you can see cattle is formed by adding TLE to cat rattled is formed by adding led to rat and battery is formed by adding tere to bat so we have to re replace the derivatives with the root so cattle will be replaced with cat battery will be replaced with bat and rattled will be replaced with rat so the output becomes the cat was rat by the bat so in this is what we have to do in the problem now let's see how we are going to do this so uh, for this problem we are going to use the try concept the tries and how we are going to as you know in try we are uh, storing character by character so we are storing string character by character one after another in a form of uh, let's say a, you can imagine it as a tree or a or a graph sort of structure in this in which the first character uh, will be the first letter of the word and then in the next in a tree manner it is formed I will explain you that also so let's see how we are going to use so first of all what we will do we will add all the words in the dictionary into the tries so the cat bat and rat are added to the try so C you know First of all, C is added, then A is added, then T is added. In this form, it is added into the try. B A T, in this way, it is added in the tries, and R A T, it is added like this in the tries. So it is in the form of linked list, you can say. Not exactly a linked list, but a sort of linked list. Now the next step is to split the sentence. So you can split the sentences into by breaking it from the spaces and then for each word we have to traverse the try to find the shortest root that matches the beginning of the word for suppose for cattle we are going to traverse the try and then we are going to see if uh, some prefix is present for the same or not in the try so for cattle there is cat present so what we'll do we'll replace it with cat so one by one we have to do the process for all the words first of all we'll do it for the there is no match for the so there is no replacement for cattle we got a match cat so we'll replace it was has no match rattled has a match with rat so it is replaced by has no match the has no match battery has a match with bat so it is replaced with bat so in the last step we will combine all these and simply return the answer so let's come to the coding section of the same but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so let's see the first I think we need to define it outside because we need to access it from multiple 
functions so root equal to new try now we have to split the words not split the words first first we will add the di uh, dictionary into the tries so we are doing that for each word in the dictionary we will insert it into the tries then we have a let, let's create a string builder to store the result and let's also create a string array to break the sentence into words so we'll use the split function and we'll break it on the space now for all the strings in the input string we have to check for the shortest matching prefix so we'll search for i and return the result this will be actually result dot append and we'll also need to add a space after it since after each word you need to add a space now then we can simply result dot to string and we also have a extra space so we need to trim this as well we can return this now let's write the remaining functions so what functions we have used so we have used a search function and an insert function and we also need to define the try class as well so let's start with the search function first public string search string word we take counter now each character C in the word I equal to that will be C minus A we will convert it into a number first Now if note.children is the end that means we haven't find the root and we can return the word itself else if sorry uh, this will be we will return word when we have it as null so if we have it as null we will return over the word otherwise if we have the ending part and then in case we can return word dot substring J. Else we can return the entire word from the try. And simply come out of the for loop. 
if nothing has been returned return the word itself then in the next step we need to define the insert function public void insert so try node equal to root for char c word dot two char array int i equal to c minus a and if node dot children of i equal equal to null then in that case what we'll do no dot children of i equal equal to a new try sorry this will be equal to we'll create a new try otherwise no equal to no dot children of i and we'll set node dot is and equal to true now we also need to define the class try which we have used so this is pretty simple we'll have a try of children we have a boolean function is end So yes, this is the code. Let's try to run it. Some error has been occurred. I guess there was an extra bracket. Sorry for the error. Yes, passes the sample test cases. Let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well. So hidden test cases are also passed with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. So let's talk about the time complexity and the memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is uh, it takes the length of the root for n roots for try construction so it becomes o of n into l n is the number of roots and l is the length of the root and for sentence processing it takes the length of the words and um, let's say m is the maximum number of words so it becomes m into l so the maximum time complexity becomes n into l plus m into l so this is the maximum time complexity and the space complexity is actually the same because we are using the input sentences string and we are also using a try that's why so you can find my solution from the lead code solutions panel this is my solution where you can see the java c++ python and the ja javascript code you can also read the intuition the approach the complexity you can see the explanation how we have uh, done the pro it is it contains the step by step process of the logic and also you can see the code in the all the four languages and yes 
do remember to upvote me i hope you understood the logic do like the video share share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel thank you for watching the video have a nice day